Hello everyone, it is me Vegeta T23 and welcome back to my new what if. Today we're talking about what if Gohan never stopped training. Before I start I'd like to mention that I created a discord server for you to join. The link is in the description of this video so if you'd like to join in and talk to me and the rest of my fans, it's there. I'd also like to mention that I created an Instagram so you can survey my very uninteresting life. I post either Minecraft or Osu stuff. Now back to the video. After a nice little battle with Vegeta, Goku and Vegeta and Gohan go back to train much to their wives displeasure. But they're in for a good as Champa comes over and brings in some weird ass eggs. They try them and they come to the conclusion they're just normal eggs. They then bring Champa the ramen and he loves it. He realizes that it's an earth food and he has no earth so he plans on taking it by proposing a tournament to which everyone joyfully agrees. They grab Piccolo and Tien and they go to an unknown planet where the tournament will take place. They start fighting and everything goes as in canon until Vegeta tries to take on Frost. Thinking twice, Gohan let him destroy Frieza so he returns that favor, regretting it a little later. Gohan lifts all rules and owns Frost. Then Mageta, then Kaba after taking a similar approach to teach him Super Saiyan and then finally Hit. Well, he defeats Hit after fulfilling his desires of gaining Mystic Blue and overpowering Hit by a long shot. Zeno appears and that stupid Goku asks for a similar tournament from Zeno, to which he agrees. After that, they give Champa their own copy of Earth. With the recap out of the way, let's continue the what if. After the tournament, they enjoy the time of peace and Gohan goes back to his studies, with the occasional training on the side which is dropping his performance a bit during lectures. Videl has brought him plenty of books to study from for his job, but Gohan is surely procrastinating. One of his managers have noticed the lack and are questioning his methods, to which Gohan replies he's trying but he has to train to get stronger. His manager blows a gasket at him for not taking his real job seriously. He tells him he won't get any weaker if he gives it a rest every once in a while, but Gohan loses it, telling him that he needs to train because of his past and starts powering up slightly, but gets to his senses and stops. His manager is confused and a bit scared. Gohan just apologizes and goes back to work. Meanwhile, Goku and Vegeta are trying to best each other in a gravity chamber and are training quite hard while they're at it. Despite Vegeta trying hard to get Goku to his level, he just can't because Goku is leagues away from him. However, Goku is trying to help Vegeta get a hold of Super Saiyan Blue Evolution at will, but doesn't know the right trigger for it. Goku then gets a call from Beerus all of a sudden how Zeno needs to talk to him, so he has to go. Zeno, considering him a friend, asks for the tournament and Goku can't wait because Saiyans just love to fight. And with that, the date is set. Zeno even gave him a button so he can come over anytime to play or something. Goku then realizes that he needs to get stronger because the rest of the Saiyans are receding away from him. So, being stronger, Piccolo agrees to help his cause. With that, they go to the time chamber for about 3 years in their time. But in the future, we can see Trunks running away from someone. He hides behind a building and then flees to his hate house to meet up with Mai. They then go out only to be met up with this strange entity again. They manage to get away somehow and end up in Capsule Corp where the time machine is being kept. Boma tells Trunks that this tank will only last but one trip to the past and he has to find someone to help him. The entity arrives and destroys half the place, also killing Boma right before Trunks' very eyes. With no time to waste, he gets to the time machine and goes back to the past. Upon arrival, Boma notices that a time machine has arrived and can't believe her eyes when she sees a HOPE written on it. Trunks goes to take a look and sees a badly beaten up future Trunks, even though he calls him SOMEONE because he doesn't know of him just yet, but will soon learn as it will be revealed by the soap opera way. They bring him out and they try to find a way to heal him. Goku of all idiots arrives and recognizes Trunks, triggering the soap opera thing and then teleports to Corrin to give him a sense of bean. Boma also calls Gohan and Vegeta to come home from Beerus' world. Since in canon, Goku was the one to get them back home, they have to travel with the help of Whis. Goku gives Trunks a sense of you and he wakes up, very confused. 
Seeing Goku made his eyes sparkle, seeing how he's actually alive. Gohan and Vegeta then come, and Trunks becomes enraged all of a sudden, and attacks Gohan. Gohan is confused of course, but he blocks the punch like it's nothing. Boma then bonks Trunks on the head, and tells him what the actual fuck he thinks he's doing, before Trunks got to his senses and saw that it's the real Gohan. He then goes to apologize and explains that he thought it was someone else. He carries on with the story about a man who claims to be Gohan, but isn't. They call him Gohan Black, and he's literally tearing his entire reality apart. Everyone just gets confused and Goku asks to elaborate a little more. Trunks then does, explaining how this Black is killing thousands of people every day for shits and giggles, and is trying to create a perfect world free of mortals. Goku gets enraged and would like to fight him. Just then, as if Sharon was listening to Goku's wish, Black arrives through a vortex, seeing a new timeline and old faces along with it. He looks upon everyone and sees Trunks, saying, So, you ran off to your mommy and daddy, huh? Oh well, more mortals to kill. Just like the ones that were back in your timeline. Goku now sees Black and goes to him, but Gohan catches his foot, telling him that this is his time to fight. But Goku then pulls him up along with himself because he wants to fight him. I take it you're black. Indeed, Goku. <clears throat> Father. I never approved of a son that would kill so many innocent lives. <laughs> it seems you've caught on. Wanna die like your future self? We'll see about that. As the two initiate a battle. At first black was winning until Goku went Super Saiyan. Now they're on par with each other until Black raped his Denkai abilities and got a boost from a kick to his gut. So Goku had to go Super Saiyan 2. Just then, the Rift reacts to the time ring, to which Beerus and Whis take great interest. Black then decides to finish cleaning his mess and disappear, but Goku isn't letting him, going Super Saiyan 3 and kicking him in the chin, sending him flying into the Rift. Before Black could disappear through his rift, he destroys the time machine and then leaves as he came. With the time machine now destroyed, Trunks starts bitching about it, but Vegeta taunts him for being weak, while Bulma is trying to find the old time machine. Once she does, they begin preparations for the future timeline and Black's impending doom. With that, we're leaving things be for now. Thank you for watching. If you think Goku should have Goku armor in this what if, then click dislike, but if you liked the video, hit that like button. If you'd like me to cover your idea in the near future, comment down below, and as always, peace out.